Okay, here's the deal. I need a 10 gigabit local network for my NAS and my whole editing setup. And if you know what all that means, then great. You're ahead of most people watching this video. And if you don't know what that means, I'm gonna try to explain it whilst I do it, you know, to kind of, kind of get the flow of the video going. So, here's the deal. A bunch of cool companies sent me a bunch of cool stuff. Specifically, fs.com, fs, fs.com sent over a ton of fiber optic cables as well as some of their awesome 10 gigabit SFP plus fiber optic transceivers. So thank you fs.com. They've been waiting on this video for like four months now because I had planned to do a fiber upgrade in an entirely different office. So yeah, thanks fs.com for not being like some company who recently asked me to send their like $10 item back at my expense. And another company who sent something for this project is Microtik. They sent their awesome 10 gigabit SFP plus cloud switch thing. Let me just open it up and show you. This is a 10 gigabit per second network switch that allow us to connect all of our editing rigs and our NAS together at 10 gigabits per second. And to put that into, you know, Real things, it basically means that I can edit live files or transfer files from my main rig or the editor, other, fuck, editor's PCs directly to the NAS at speeds of up to one gigabyte per second. Actually, slightly over, but after inefficiency and stuff, you get about one gigabyte per second, which means we'll run into bottlenecks well before it's our network. So this switch is super cool. We've got four 10 gigabit per second SFP plus ports. That'll be for my main rig, the editing rig, uh, NAS, and another editing rig or something else that needs 10 gig. And then we have six one gigabit per second SFP ports, which can just be used for general devices that just need internet connectivity. And we're gonna have our internet come in through the ethernet slash PoE in uh, port. We're not using PoE, so we're just gonna power it off of the 18 to 57 volt, okay. Uh, thank you Microtech for sending this thing over. It's like 300 bucks and there's like a hundred something bucks in fiber optics from fs.com. So starting off right off the bat, thank you guys for sending that stuff. So let's get into it. What's the plan? Well, that's gonna go there. This is the central hub, my main rig's over there. The editing system's like over over there, the other one across the room, you could show it. Wow. Um, so basically, right there in the middle of the room is perfect and that's uh, everything important that comes with it. It comes with a rack mount, which is kind of funny, but I don't have a rack, so I'm not, well, I don't have a server rack, so I'm not mounting it. Now, the plan, the plan is to basically run fiber optics, and technically I also have copper, but you know I would rather use fiber, especially for the longer runs where copper, the cables get so thick and so expensive that it's kind of pointless. So for the 10 gigabit runs, I'm gonna try to go all fiber. I do have four 10 gigabit ports and four fiber optic cables, so there should be plenty. There's one over there too, but you get the point that I was using for measuring. So. FS.com sent over a couple of great cables. They, so they sent over two of these 10 meter OM3 multi-mode fiber cables and one 50 meter, for some, what is it, 50 meters? 30 meters, I can't read. So they sent over a 30 meter cable, again, multi-mode fiber, and then one OM5 because I thought it looked cool as it was a different color and this is gonna go to my main rig. This cable can do like 100 gig. This cable can do like infinite bandwidth, but. I thought it was cool and they sent it for free. So thanks FS.com again. You'll be seeing a lot of their products coming up in videos because we have a ton of things to focus on with the whole network upgrade. This is just basically part one where we're just running cable, your favorite running cable. So the plan, because the fiber is delicate, I don't want to run it across the floor. I actually want to want to run it up and over and around and it needs to go two places. The shorter cable needs to go to that PC, which is over there, has an SF, two SFP plus ports, and the other one has to go through this perfectly expertly master drilled hole in the wall right here. I'm just gonna do this now. I don't have a ladder. I thought I did for some reason. And to hang the fiber optics, I'm just gonna use these like, uh, these like command strip hook things. They're just like, they're like little hooks. I have just realized why this is not going to work.
I'm going to use this desk to get up there. Don't try this at home, especially if you're fat. Why, why do you have a gallon of windshield wiper fluid on your desk? It looked tasty. I'm not going to talk about the fact that there's like a thousand dollars in CPUs just sitting right there. So my master plan is just to kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying? Fiber optics, they're not like, they're not going to break if you touch them, but they are very delicate. It's glass fibers, essentially. So you got to be kind of careful. You don't really want to bend them and all that. Oh, hi, spider thing. It's, f I fucking hate it up here. I could probably put these a lot lower, but I'm trying not to risk an accidental celebrating that I won a match or something and then my hand comes up and fucks up my fiber optic cabling. I had one like semi unwrapped to do a little bit of measuring. By measuring, I mean completely eyeballing it. Hold up, fuck. If this breaks, I will die. That'll make it. No! Why? There we go. Come on. Oh, I'll do it like that. How about that? What do you think of them apples? Ugh. I need. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Except for the giant knot in it. So I get my good side. I said this last video, but no one watched that one, so. Uh, I'd say get my good side. But there, we, we, we both know there is no good side. So as this is networking, I'm gonna plug it into a, all my networking stuff is plugged into a UPS. So that if I lose power, I still have the interwebs and my entirety of my local network. That fan better, better calm down. That better be the first time boot fan. I'm gonna be real mad if it's not. I'm just gonna assume that'll get quieter and if not, I'll have to modify the switch. On this side, on the switch side, we get one of these. I have never done this before, so bear with me. FS.com sent over four of their 10 gigabit SFP plus fiber optic transceivers. And these are like the expensive part of all this. Fiber optic cabling is one thing, but these transceivers, they're expensive. These are great. I mean, they're just SFP plus, my favorite, one of my favorite connectors to fiber optics. So, you know, very simple. And we take the other end of our cable, which I so amazingly ran. And let's see if I can figure this out. This goes down. No. Yeah, this goes down. And then I think these covers come off. Yes. So these white little covers come off. I don't even know if you guys can see this. To focus on the fiber. Make sure these are clean. And then we just, I think we just. Does this go, does that stay up or something? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just like that, we have a fiber optic SFP plus cable. And we just, there we go. Just like that, it's connected. There's, that is a 10 gig connection. Now it's connected to fucking nothing because um, it's not run to the computer yet, but that's nice. Oh well. I'll have it, yeah, like, like this. And then that'll just essentially hold it like that. You know, this, this will obviously go like, I honestly, I, I'm feeling like the super long cable might not be necessary. The only reason it would make sense is if I wanted to put the NAS like behind the couch or something. But um, I guess it makes sense. There's, there's nowhere in this room where I would need such a long cable anyway, except to run it to the other room. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run it to the other room either way. I'm like dizzy and I've done like no physical exertion. This is sad. I am a sad, sad person. Okay, like such, and there we go. 
Now, we grab a second one of our FS.com fiber optic transceivers, and we just, we do it again. So we take off these protective caps, trying not to destroy the fiber with our grossness, and we just, please, just like that. And now this computer, which is the secondary editing station, now has, can you get in there? You gotta, you gotta see this, this is amazing. No, not Siri, fuck off Siri. <laughs> Whatever. Is it, oh, it has to go upside down, because the computer's upside down. There we go. Theoretically speak, oh, sorry. Theoretically speaking, this computer now has Nice, that's so sexy. A nice 10 gigabit internet connection. Well, not internet connection, local network connection. And we tidied up the cable a little bit so it actually doesn't look too terrible. Now, comes the fun part. Doing the same thing but through the wall. There's too much extra cable. As long as it holds like some of it, it'll hold the rest, right? Is that how that works? It was not how that works. That's fine. Okay, so since we have an end protector on here, we're just gonna kind of shove this through the wall. At least we're gonna try. And we're gonna hope that that properly made it through the wall. And we're gonna go on it to make it same safer. So, oh shit. There we go. And now we will venture to the other side. Now in the other, in the NAS, we're gonna use this fiber HBA that I got. It's a uh, Dell and according to their website, this thing still costs um, like 2,400 bucks on their website. I'll show like the screenshot of the website. Um, I got this on eBay for like 10 and it actually came with two, I think they're technically like eight and a half gigabit per second, but essentially 10 gig SFP plus transceivers. They're not as good as the SFP as, they're not as nice or nearly as good as the FS.com ones, but they'll do the job and I'll have two of them. Uh, I don't know what I'll use the second one for. I don't know why I just took out that protector. So right next to the testament to my laziness. Oh, hold on, let me, there are no, no reflections here. So we have my nice 77 inch LG C2. And right here, our fiber has come through the wall and we're just going to, I'll leave this here for now because that's the NAS and it's not built as you can see, like at all. That's where it'll be probably just more in the corner. Um, it's just nicer and easier to have it out here. And we're just going to build out without breaking hopefully, our last fiber SFP plus cable. You can buy like pre-terminated fiber cables, but this is more fun and there we go. So now this will just run to here, you know, like such, you know, very simple when that NAS is built in a coming video. So with that, I think I've done everything. Let's go back to the other room because this room is so poorly lit and garbage. There we go. Okay guys, so real quick, about to show the network speed, it's working great. Um, one thing to note, the switch has gotten completely quiet. It is dead silent, so that loud ass shit was just its boot sequence. It just boots with full fan speed. So we have both our fiber connections and I connected this copper one. Uh, this is just a copper SFP plus cable to my streaming PC just for the purposes of this test. We also connected the internet to see if the internet works. So coming over here, basically, this folder, if you could read that, called share, is on a different computer. It's a network drive. It is the boot drive of my streaming PC across the room. And this Black Ops Cold War footage that I have just lying around, it's like 23 gigs, is on this computer locally. And normally, with a one gigabit network speed, you know, in, you know, local network, we can transfer files at about 
100 megabytes per second max, which for 300 megabyte per second footage that you're currently watching, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. So let's see how fast we can transfer a file. And now I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to be limited by the SSD on the streaming PC, which is a SATA inland drive that can do like 400 megabytes per second. But let's see. So transferring to the share and it is going at, oh my, did you see that? It started at, it started almost a gigabyte. I need to start that again. Shoot. Cause it, it, it didn't have the advanced thing pulled up. Here we go. And starts at a gigabyte per second. So that the network can handle gigabyte per second. Now the drive cannot start it off as it flooded the DRAM cache with over a gigabyte per second. And from the NAS, which will have a ton of rated SSDs, all NVMe and stuff like that. We can get a gigabyte per second over the network at the very least. So this is going to be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed my jank little fiber optic running thing. I'll try to clean it up a little bit more. But I mean, you know what? It's almost unnoticeable in terms of like for daily use. And it looks sick as fuck. And it's fiber optics. And we have it running outside for the NAS. So this is great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed. Stay tuned for there will be multiple parts. There will be more. I got more fiber to run, more stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And thank you to FS.com and Microtech for sending products for this project. There's more videos coming on the way. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.